welcome to another exciting day working on that wonderful, beautiful machine. All right, today we are addressing a slight issue with the thermostat housing. And as you can see, the belt tensioner is not over far enough and the belt rubs the thermostat housing. So I'll tell you, when they made this swap, when the company or the, the shop put this motor in, they swapped out the water pump from an L99, which is what the motor is, six liter L99. They put in a six liter LQ9 because they needed the, uh, the um, neck to come out here. And on an L99, I think it comes out down here somewhere. So in doing so, they put on the LQ9 pump, but they just transferred over the L99 belt tensioner, which I'm hoping is the reason that it's so out of whack. I went ahead and bought this one. This is actually for an L99, I mean a LQ9 pump. And I'm kind of hoping that you can see a little bit that everything has moved over to the driver's side. Not a ton, maybe not as much as we need, but I'm gonna swap those out real quick and see. All right, new belt tensioner is on. St same problem, but this tensioner seems to move much further out of the way. And so I don't have three hands to show you, but if I get a short enough belt, um, I've got plenty of room to, uh, to get that belt out of the way now. So that was a big win. Now all I need is the PSC pulley and I can put the belt on it and uh, move forward. All right, I've been working late tonight. Got some good news though. Power steering pulley came in, got it mounted up. The belt need just a little bit more, a um, little bit more belt and I'll have it. That's the tensioner. So it does come down like I showed earlier, but uh, still need the belt to be just a hair longer. And then the belt situation will be done. So now looking at my to-do list, um, this is going to push us forward. Let me show you what I've been working on over here. I'm taking, I've got fuse panels. Actually, let me show you that first. The fuse panel is, I did a fuse panel under the dash. And so that's what all these wires hanging are. But it's a uh, Blue Sea Systems. And it was bolted up under the dash. And so what happened was the, the bolts came through here. And then we had this big hole from the connector for the computer or the brain of the diesel that was in here. Um, and I didn't like that because water could get through it and stuff like that. So I need this to be completely flat. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take those, um, I'm gonna take the Blue Sea Systems fuse panels and I'm gonna drop them down. Sorry about the hand in the camera there. But I built this. And so what this will do is it mounts the fuse block, which I don't know where it is right now, but um, it mounts the fuse block down about an inch under uh, that flat piece. So uh, under the dash, they'll be sitting down there, but that will allow me to rivet this piece to the bottom and cover up all those holes and keep it nice and flat right there. So if I'm working on it, I can put tools in it or whatever. But um, that's where we're at right now. Radiator. Electric fans are good. I do need to bolt them in. I've got some spacers that I need to add in to support that. Uh, but yeah, we're moving right along, man. I hope this thing will be on the road. Well, it has to be on the road in about a week. A week from today, actually. Oh, wow. All right, so a lot of late nights. I'll get this thing done, get this thing running. And I'm going on power tour on Tuesday. So uh, I hope to see everybody there. I think it's Tuesday. It's the 12th, whatever the 12th is. I'll be in Hampton, Georgia at the Power Tour. Come say hello in that monster and uh, we'll have a lot of fun. It is the next day, still late at night, trying to get ready for the Hot Rod Power Tour. As you can see, I got the PSC pump on and torqued, or uh, pulley on and torqued. I got the correct tensioner bolted in, torqued on, and as you can see, I've got that new Continental Gator belt. A little bit longer belt, fits perfect. I'm gonna run it uh, hopefully soon, but all that's done. Now let me show you, we're actually getting into some of the assembly 
which I'm really excited about. So let me show you the uh, electric fans, radiator, and shroud. Here is the fan shroud that I had made for the Humvee from Chicken City Hot Rods. It's got some space up here for the um, transmission cooler just to get air. These bad boys pump about 4,000 CFM together. I've got my uh, Hella waterproof relays mounted up at the top, so those are easily accessible if one ever goes bad. I do have to wire everything still, and that will sit right on the radiator. I've got the PSC pump here. Y'all saw the bracket from the other video that kind of attaches this to the fan shroud. So let's start some assembly. Assembly is done. There's the radiator capped off the oil. I don't run an oil cooler with the LS motor. I've got the two electric fans. I've got a relay here, relay here. I'll wire all this up with uh, just fuse over to the sniper. The sniper will control both fans independently. I've got the PSC pump mounted to the front. We have a steel backing plate, steel plate here, through bolted. Uh, I didn't like how much it wiggled, so I made this bracket. Riv nuts, riv nuts, so it comes out really easy. Uh, this comes with the PSC pump. This just mounts it on here. And now that thing, it shakes the entire radiator. So that is very solid mount. I went ahead and replaced the rubber on these. You can see how the fan shroud is mounted. Just used some spacers. Uh, I think these are one and three quarter inch. Got a longer bolt. Brought it up here. Gives a little bit of room at the bottom. You've got this tab uh, right here that runs down and bolts in where the cooler is. Over here, it's rib nutted through the side on that plate. Again, just another bolt. And then up here, same thing. I just run a spacer behind those cooler lines and longer bolt there. And it is mounted up. That is it. So in the next video, we'll be putting this on the, uh, on the Humvee and possibly if I can get the electrical done, I might start it up. So we'll see. Until the next video, guys.